What's up, Divas? It's your girl, April, and today's video is about Barbie dolls. So if you don't really know, there are a few people that do know that I'm like a huge lover of Barbie. Um, I have been collecting them for some time. My collection was kind of massive at one time, but the house that I lived in in New York was super small. So a lot of the things that I bought, I wasn't even able to put them together. I had like all these huge ideas of what I was going to do with the Barbies, where I was going to put the dream house, like the original Barbie dream house. Um, but my house was not the size of my dreams. So a lot of things I did end up selling. A couple of them I gave to my daughter Mumsy to play with and they were like really nice dolls. I just took them out the package and gave to her. And like a lot of things I did sell um, like to collectors. So unfortunately, um, my huge stash is not as huge as it used to be, but now I'm about to go back and start collecting again because the house that I live in now is like super huge and it's going to allow me to place my Barbies finally somewhere that I want them to be, which is out in the open and not in this in these big brown boxes of storage that they're in. My kids say I collect too much stuff, but it's not really true. I really don't. I like to collect Barbies and makeup and shoes and bags and hair and jewelry and money one that's been actually out on display and this is the bob mackie diana ross barbie and hopefully you can see her because of this ring light so this is the bob Mac mackie bar um diana ross barbie and she's just absolutely gorgeous I picked her up, um, I actually won her on eBay like a long time ago, probably like seven, eight years ago. But on the back, it has an actual sketch of Diana Ross right here and the actual portrait of Diana Ross herself. I don't take out any of my Barbies out of the boxes because that's how they lose their value. So every last one of them is in the box. Like this is how I keep them. Their papers of authenticity is actually inside along with their stands. That's just how I keep my dogs. Boxes are crushed from my move and just being tossed around in the box of boxes. So this is like one of my favorites and I'm like really particular with the Barbies that I get. So this one is the collector's edition and like either limited or collector's edition. This is the bowling champ and I really like her a lot because she resembles like old school Barbie like when Barbie first came out she's got like those pretty pouty lips and that was like really pin up slanted kind of chunky eyes so I love like this Barbie right here she does come with a bowling bag and some pretty shoes and she's just super cute I love her so this is bowling Another champ Barbie that I got um is the Yankees New York Barbie Anyone from New York has to have this Barbie. Like, she's a must-have. Even if you're not a baseball a baseball fan, you have to have this particular Barbie or else, you know, you cannot say you're from New York. She's given to me by my bestie, Love Kisses 99. And this is the 50th anniversary Barbie. This is Barbie Generations of Dreams. I love this Barbie for one because she is like this beautiful chocolate brown color. Um, that's like the most appealing thing to me about this Barbie is her complexion. Her dress is gorgeous because she's got loads of different Barbies and Kens and things like that on her dress. But I just love her chocolate complexion for this Barbie right here. So I got this a few years ago from my bestie, Love Kisses 99. And she has stayed in her box like this. Now, some of the boxes are like water damaged on the top from this garage that I have here but this is the birthday wishes Barbie and she's just wearing like this lavender color purple dress which just is beautiful it's kind of like country theme to me she's got her little um, birthday package I'm not really sure about the shoes that she has on because I've never ever opened this box and I refuse to so this one is like another one of my favorites only because she reminds me of like country down south you know sleeping Barbie edition right here and she's just cute she has on her like blue and gold dress her long blonde Shirley Temple curls her little encrusted crown with a flower on it but I just love her I love Sleeping Beauty so yeah 
Moulin Rouge Barbie. And I like this one because the box opens up like so. And it's like a pop-up book. But her costume is gorgeous. Like, you cannot tell me that her costume is not gorgeous. The detail on it and... I love the name Mulan. I always thought that was a pretty name. So that is one of the reasons why I said Mulan Rouge, right? Um, Mulan. Um, I always liked the name Mulan. It was just like a really beautiful name. But this is the Disney Barbie. And yeah, she is old as well. 15 years old. 15 years old. And this is the Millennium Princess Barbie. So this is from 2000. And look at her. She's a beautiful African-American doll. She has like the crystal ball. Happy New Year keepsake for yourself. Her box is a little dusty, um, but I refuse to take her out. I can just clean up her box, but I'm not going to take her out. She has this blue, beautiful blue um, velvet crush dress on. And on the back of the box, you can see her right here. The one that's my favorite. Unfortunately, um... My attic was leaking in my old house, and I didn't, I didn't know. I wasn't aware of it. So the box got damaged. Like, do you see that? This box, this doll is, like, super duper old. Um, she's from 1995. Um, this is another Bob Mackie Barbie. It's the goddess of the sun. And you'll see right here is, like, a portrait first. And here she is. She has, like, her papers of authenticity, her stand. She has never been removed from this box. She's still, like, attached to the box. Her shoes are still attached to the box. But this is my favorite Barbie of all time. Out of all the Barbies that I have, she is the one that I adore the most. Just look at her details with the fire, the gold. This is, like, one beautiful damn Barbie, like... I love her. Her dress with its sequins and details all over it. She is a beautiful Barbie. Plus, it comes with this here. So, she's just all, all around a beautiful Barbie. Cruella DeVille from the Dalmatians. And this is one of the Cruella DeVille's that I have. She's got on like that black mink fur. I've never taken her out, so I don't really know what it feels like. Um, I've never even opened the box be able to tell you what it feels like but this is um this came out when Cruella DeVille was like the 101 Dalmatians was really popular the box is super cute the way it opens this is like a collector's edition but yeah never taking her out of the box she reminds me of the Devil Wears Prada and this particular one right here and like I said all the water just kind of like messed up my boxes but this is her here. She has on like the lace, the black, the suit. And too bad you really can't see it on camera like that. But this Barbie is like the business. Swan Lake. Barbie as the Swan Queen in Swan Lake. This one here is also a classic ballet series collector's edition. And she's just like a beautiful African American color. She has on her swan ballet dress and she's just periwetting and dancing. She has a gorgeous headpiece on that adorns her with feathers and things like that. Of a swan. The Rapunzel um, Prince, which is Stefan. And yes, I do even have a Prince doll. I'm not really sure if I'm going to keep this one in the collection. He's just as old. And it is a male Kenzo, but an African-American version. Okay. And this is the Rapunzel one. And this is Barbie as Rapunzel. And this is Prince Stefan. Let down your hair, Rapunzel. So this came out um, in 2001. So this is just this old too. Beautiful Barbie. She's Asian inspired. And this is the Spring Blossom Mulan. So this is another Mulan. But she has on different attire. I love her Chinese umbrella behind her. Her paper lantern. Her paper umbrella. Her dress. Her kimono is just gorgeous. As well as her slanted eyes. Like has been seen like it's been through hell and back. This is the 40th anniversary of Sleeping Beauty. And this is just a different rendition of her. She's gorgeous. I love her ba basically a lot better in a pink dress. Um, she's just sitting in her box. She's waiting to be rescued by this Barbie as Cinderella. And this is the Children's Collector Series. And she's just got on like a light blue and gold princess dress. 
some attire upon her head and her puffy sleeves and her blonde hair. Isn't her dress just like gorgeous? Empress of Emeralds Barbie uh, Racine Egg. Now this I can show you. I can take it out because I've taken it out before. Here you can t um, wind it if you want to hear music. And then you want to open it up. It has like green gems all over it. And inside is the Emerald Princess. Here is actually um, was given to me by my best friend. This is the Cleopatra Barbie. And I love this one here. She's full of detail and she's just absolutely gorgeous. Best friend Love Kisses 99 got me her because she knew I'm like a Barbie freak. So with that I can remove her. Just she's beautiful. She's absolutely beautiful. Her eye makeup is gorgeous. Her gown, her accessories, everything about this doll screams gorgeous. So she's like my second Over old Barbie. This is PJ. If you remember PJ, if you were my age, you remember PJ. This is Barbie. You can look at the box and see she's like major old. She's super duper old. This Barbie is from 1982. So this is like when I first started playing with Barbies and I was able to get my hands on her. She was given to one of my daughters as a prize at the Boys and Girls Club and my daughter never liked Barbie. She was not a Barbie fan or anything like that. So she actually sold her to me for 10 bucks and I had this same doll when I was younger because I remember this dress. They come in pink and blue, and on the back there goes Ken, and look at Barbie and PJ. Yes, Barbie and Ken and PJ. The best looking dates around town. So this box is like the 50th amazing. anniversary is the Marilyn Monroe Barbie, which my bestie also bought me. Um, she's just gorgeous. This is Marilyn Monroe in her finest with her gold dress on, her blonde bob hairstyle. So chic and elegant she was. And this Barbie just resembles her to a T. So. Dallas Cowboys Barbie, which is the cheerleader. And I actually bought this for my son's best friend's mom. But she never came and got it. And when I moved, I just took her with me. So it's not like I'm an Indian giver. She just never came and got her. She doesn't like Barbies anyway. She's not like the Barbie type. So, yes. This is the Dallas Cowboys. Classic. The Classic Collection. This is six in a series of beautiful dolls by Mattel Barbie Designers. This is the Romantic Interlude. Interlude Barbie. Timeless and classic. So Midnight Black for an evening stroll. And these were designed actually by designers. This is by Ann Dreskel. And inside, this is an African-American doll. And this one here, she walks in quiet beauty in the distance. Notes from a sonata drift, reassuringly in the cool evening breeze. So there's like a saying on each one, but just check out her detail. She has like this old, just old vintage dress on. And it's made of crushed velvet. Her hair is up with a beautiful hat. And this is like back in the early, early days. So this is not a Barbie that you would want to play with. But it's like a very chic collection. The Evening Extravaganza Barbie. And this one here is by Kitty Black Perkins. Ladies. Remember this. This is like from back in the 80s. This is a look like from back in the 80s. Do you see her hair? Our Barbies were created just like this with this type of hair. And it, look at the sequins and the dress. This is like one of my other favorite Barbies. She just reminds me of me as a kid playing with Barbies all the time. And all my Barbies look like that. She's just beautiful. She's absolutely gorgeous. She's just, this is like one beautiful Barbie right here. Starlight Dance Barbie. And this is by Cynthia Young. And she has on a white gown. And she's gorgeous. She just looks like she wants to go onto the ballroom floor and just show off her best. Love her headpiece, her hair, her dress. This is just a gorgeous one. This one is the fifth one in the collection. This one here is the third one in the collection. Pop Life Barbie. She is like mod and just so like 60s. You know, peace and love and things of that nature. She's got this bright orange chair that 
is part of her accessories with these huge tall white go-go boots and her flashy earrings and her very flashy fishnet stockings so yeah Pocahontas Barbie um and this is the winter moon one Beauty and the Beast one the Cinderella one the Aladdin one Diva Collection Barbie Red Hot um, Barbie and I won this like at 3 30 4 o'clock in the morning off of eBay from somebody um, somebody else has been on it and I guess they went to sleep so I won it and I think she's cute she has like red tassels all over her dress and sequins and I'm like totally out of breath because I knew there was more Barbies my kids try to tell me no but I'm ready for Hollywood Barbie special edition And she's gorgeous. She has like a goldish yellow dress on with a faux mink fur throw over her. And her hair is just like in a very chic ponytail. The birthday, um, the blushing bride Barbie. And I love her because she reminds me of like old, traditional. really like this one a lot because she is like a clone of like the very first one and this is silken flame silken flame barbie a 1962 fashion doll and reproduction so she is a reproduction of like the first ones she's gorgeous and she reminds me of the bowling champ one like so much she's just absolutely beautiful with her red lips and those pouty eyes I love it. Holiday Angel Barbie. So you don't really see a lot of these. This is the Holiday Angel Barbie. And she came out, gosh, like in 2000. So she reminds me of like God's Angel. She's so pretty and just clean looking. She doesn't have like loads of makeup on, but she's still. This beautiful. one is Gone Platinum okay look at her blonde hair her chocolate skin those platinum lips and that platinum silver outfit she's just gorgeous the um princess dolls of the world which is princess of south africa this is what you call a beautiful black barbie this is a gorgeous barbie and hopefully she can pick up on camera but she's just really pretty she's beautiful she's dark chocolate she has like her accents around her neck and her hair and her clothing she is a beautiful Barbie I absolutely love From this Barbie. another company called Janae and I only bought it because my daughter's name but I thought she was cute but she's not a Barbie so we're not gonna talk about her but the last one in the collection and this one is I saved the best for last because I think she's just absolutely stunning and she's just beautiful to me. Um, this is the Happy Holiday Barbie and this is from 1993. The Happy Holiday Barbie and she is an African American one. She's just absolutely beautiful. So she is one of the holiday Barbies and she is an African American doll. And I think she's just absolutely gorgeous. From 1993 y'all, she comes with picture framing, um, she has a 5 by 7 copy of the picture of her in the back. So this picture right here that you're seeing is actually a picture inside and it's her certificate of authenticity which I've never even taken a look at because I've never taken the top off of her. I refuse to open her because she is a holiday African American Barbie from 1993 so she is like okay she's so she's so cool she's like 21 years old she's so cool so this is not my oldest barbie but this is one that i hold near and dear to my heart so yes this is my barbie collection um i've had other things that i've just gotten rid of or sold um so yeah like i said it's time to start a new collection i am so sorry for this video being like super duper long but 
Someone asked me, what do I like to collect? And can I show uh, can I show a video of the things that I like to collect? What's my collection like? You know? And I didn't really think it was too cool to show a collection of my purses and shoes because who doesn't have that? Um, not everybody has a Barbie collection and you may not have thought, oh, okay, April collects Barbies. I am like a Barbie fanatic, okay? I've had Barbies all my life. I played with Barbies until I was 16 years old. So yeah. Call me lame old, but I love Barbies. And the only uncool thing about it for me is that I have three daughters, and out of three of them, the only one that really even likes dolls is Mumsy, which is my last da daughter. My oldest daughter, Tati, she played with Barbies for a little while, not as long as I did. She wasn't really as interested in them as I was. My daughter, Janae, really wasn't interested in them at all. Mumsy, she loves Barbies, but she likes like those Bratz or those Monster High dolls. And she doesn't like Barbie. She likes like those fake knockoffs, like the Bratz, you know. And that's what I call fake knockoffs because they're not Barbie. If it's not Barbie, then it's just not right. So, but she plays with dolls. Um, my sister was never really into them like that. I tried to force it on her. So I ended up playing with her ball, her dolls and mine. So I'm like a huge Barbie fanatic. I love Barbies. Um, I try to collect them as much as I can, but being that my space was so small, I really wasn't able to set them out and collect them and keep them. I had to get rid of them and sell them, which broke my heart. But you know, it's all good. It's a new new place and it's new times and it's about to be Barbie time, okay? So yes, y'all, thanks for staying tuned and watching my well long, long video of Barbie collection. But if you have any questions, you can always put them below or you can email me. Check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And make sure to follow my blog, glamstylegossip.com. So on that note, stay deep and delicious.